we're asked to express each of the given improper fractions as mixed numbers. Let's work through the first one and then see if we can write up a formal process. So what I'm going to do to begin to understand what is the fraction that's represented here, I'm going to use long division and I'm going to divide 5 into 42. That's going to go 8 times 8 times 5 is 40. I'm going to subtract 40 from 42 and I'm going to get 2. And I'm going to stop there because 2 is less than 5, so that is my remainder. So I'm going to be able then to write 42 over 5 as 8 whole pieces of 5, size 5, and then remainder. 2 over 5. So there is my mixed number. I can work backwards and check. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2 is 42 over 5. So let's see if we can write up a process here that will help us with the other two problems. So we are looking for steps to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. The first thing we did was to divide the numerator. That was our 42 by the denominator of 5 using long division. The quotient, which is this number here, becomes the whole number part. Once we found the remainder, which was 2, we placed it over the denominator to get the fraction part. And then we could add a step 4 that says check by converting to an improper fraction, just to be sure that you're correct. So let's see how this process would work for the remaining two examples. We are going to convert 53 over 9 to a mixed number. So I'm going to use long division with 9 dividing into 53. 9 doesn't go into 5, it goes into 53 5 whole times without going over. 5 times 9 is 45. If I subtract, I get 8. 8 is less than 9, so this is our remainder. I'm just going to write that as an R. The whole number part is this 5 here. So 53 over 9 is the 5 whole parts, and then 8 over 9. Once again, I can check. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 8 gives me 53, over the denominator, 9. We're going to do one last one, 84 over 7. If I follow the steps, I'm going to use long division. The denominator dividing into the numerator, 84. 7 goes into 8 one time, giving me 7. When I subtract, I get 14. 7 goes into 14 two times. 2 times 7 is 14. When I subtract, I get a remainder of 0. So let's see how that's going to look. 84 over 7 then, the whole number part is 12. The remainder is 0 over 7. So technically, that's how I would write 84 over 7 as a mixed number. However, this will simplify to just be 12.